Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? I could comb my hair and walk right out. Can anybody finish the words of that song from about, you know, a couple of hours? This really stuck in my head. You know, I can't really finish it live because of copyrights. But if you know the rest of the song, I can only give you a little piece. I could comb my hair and walk right out, out of here so fast. Some of you guys might be able to finish that song. It's Sunday and welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. I can see the chat is already very, 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 very active. We are gonna talk about five oils today that actually provide collagen benefits. We're doing collagen again, yes. And that is because of most people want to talk about collagen so why not share you know some amazing tips and also share some amazing oils that can help to boost collagen we have them all here and we are going to go in details about each and every one of these oils welcome to the moderator hi lucy how are you doing and it's sunday what is in the kitchen going on um oh man i missed the song <laughs> You did? Okay. I could comb my hair and walk right out. That's just a little piece of it. How to fear so fast. You know when something's stuck in your head, like really stuck? That's what's going on with that song in my head. And I just wonder if anyone actually know that song. Okay? All right. So finish it for me if you know it. Just, you know, write the, the next line to the song. All right, guys. So we are here and... I'm looking at the chat and see, and I hope a lot of people that normally do the regular Sunday chat, you know, come on over and don't confuse it with the other talk that um, we have. So we are going to talk about collagen today. And the reason for talking about collagen is because it is very vital to the skin. It's a form of a protein that helps with skin elasticity and help with firmness to the skin. When we age, it tends to slow down a bit, causing our skin to have wrinkles and fine lines, causing our skin to look saggy and also causing us to look older. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna try to reverse the aging process by using oils to help to boost the collagen. We're talking about oil, but we might stray and we might also talk about other um, essential products that you can use to help to boost collagen production welcome the moderator lucy to the show welcome to our members like jason and who else is here J karen magdalene and who else is here um jail is here also and welcome to all loretta is here also all the members of all the subscribers of the channel you are here because you want to learn about collagen and some of you are here just because you support me like regardless. So I am very, very grateful. Now guys, do you guys know that today is actually Sunday and Friday is actually Christmas day and one week from Friday, this New Year's day, like 2021, like 2021, where are you? I just can't wait to see 2021. I know, yes, I'm getting older, but I just want to get out of 2020. If you feel the same, guys, comment. I just want to get out of 2020 and hope that 2021 will be a little bit better for us. I This is like the first time for many years that i am home for an entire year like and i'm it's almost the end of the year so i could say i am home for an entire year i have not gone anywhere out of well i've, I've been to pennsylvania that, that's about it right i mean overseas no other state only pennsylvania <laughs> an entire year like Come on now, come on now. But the most important thing, guys, is not about the fact that we didn't get a chance to do a lot of things that we normally do. With, with what is going on also help us to connect more with other things, like connect more with family, connect more with ourselves also. Like, you know, we tend to go back a little to doing things that we don't normally do. So in all fairness, it's not really bad. But the most important thing is that 
if this is December, and today is what? December 20, I think? December 20, and guess what? December 20, 2020, we're still here. And we need to be grateful for that because there's a lot of people that are not here with us. All right, so we're going to talk about oil, guys. Now, if you are using any form of oil on your skin to boost collagen, go ahead and comment. If you're using any of my oil blend that I make for collagen purposes, comment if you're having any form of a significant difference. Now, Golden Child, how are you doing? Oh, what happened to you yesterday? Um, anyway, I received your email and I learned something that you do watch the show on the two different names. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I saw your name somewhere already and I'm thinking I saw it on the live chat. And now I notice when you send that email, you're on the golden chat. So you're using two accounts. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, guys. So hello, um, Ruby Mormon. Hi, Ruby. You're here. Please get us all out of 2020. You know what I mean? And um, we have Dolly. I think this is the first time I'm seeing you. Dolly O. Ohanga, look forward to a great 2021. Make up forever. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, I decided that I was going to put on something really, really bright today. Like, you know, a little more festive. Like, I like, I wear a lot of black, to be honest, guys. And maybe because I'm trying to look thin. I don't know. But yeah, I wear a lot of black. But I do sometimes like, you know, bold colors. But mostly like in the springtime. But I was just going to the closet. And I, and, and I look at this and I was like, oh, bright bright and nice let me just pull it on today to freshen up myself in case my face look a little dull from being tired now we have somebody new um rakula i think i get that wrong but correct me um Raku Raquida. I, anyway i'm not even going to stress it um with the pronunciation welcome 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 and golden child said no i just use golden child account well if you don't didn't if you only use your golden child account it means that you had sent me an email before the one you sent yesterday because i am very very familiar with your name however a lot of people have the same name so it might be someone else but tell me if you sent an email before because that name just stuck in my head and um um joan bartley i haven't heard that um, surname for a long time. How are you, John Barkley? Where are you watching from? Let me know. Jason, what's going on? Last week I bought um, cherry oil, which is loaded with antioxidant and vitamin. Um, I have to test it. Yes, cherry, all those um, 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 berries, like um, blueberries, or cherries, and um, raspberry, all of those are really good for the skin. However, the most popular one would be um, pomegranate, which I don't know, it don't fall in the berry group, per se, but yeah, that's something that um, should work wonders on your skin. And with that said, I am going to go get the cherry oil and try it too. Jason, I don't have it, but now that you mention it, it should be a good oil to use on the skin. And Magnolia, 2020 was so stressful. Can't wait for 2021 to come. Very, very um good. Marabo. Tell me if I'm pronouncing your name right. You know, when I look at your name, sometimes I think about the wine. But <laughs> anyway, it's the truth. I'm keeping it real. Welcome, welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. Winnie um Yukata. Hello, I'm watching from Pennsylvania. And see, that was the only place that I went this year, Pennsylvania. All right, guys, it's time to talk about oil. And I don't know, I think the notification didn't go out or something just by looking at the chat. Um, you know, however, this is also that time of the year when people are busy shopping and trying to get things together. I did all my shopping online this year. I'm not going outside in the crowd to do anything. As a matter of fact, I don't even think there's going to be much of a crowd, depending on where you live anyway, because for some places, the city or the towns, they are open and people are out busy shopping while like, you know, for some places, people are a little skeptical. They don't want to go out and so on and so forth. Now, I cannot talk for New York because the honest truth is I am in New York, but I'm not out there. Like, you know, if I do like, you know, go drive around a little, 
you know, it's not as busy as before. People are out, but not, you know, but when it comes out to the stores, I cannot be like, oh, you know, people are, you know, in the store shopping, blah, 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 blah. I don't know because I am not out there. All right, Rita Nichi. Um, hello, sis. I am new and watching from Maryland. And I used to go to Maryland years ago, like every weekend. I have a friend that lives there that have a friend that is a friend and we used to go there every weekend and we used to go to some clubs down um we actually drove all the way from maryland to dc to party that is like 20 years ago guys so i don't know if all of that is still going on i think the name of this place we used to go to is dream or something like that if you're from maryland old school you might know what i'm talking about um let's see who else is here Hello, Cynthia. Oh, welcome to the chat. And we also have um, a Guzzi. Oh, how are you doing? Now, we're at Marcia um, um, Goburn. I think that's not pronounced like that, but let me know if I'm pronouncing it right. Marcia Gobrow, Goborn. 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 Have a blessed a Sunday. Thank you. Everell, how are you? All right, guys, we're going to talk about, let, I'm not even sure which oil to start with, but the fact that Jason mentioned the cherry oil, let's start with the pomegranate seed oil. Now, my pomegranate seed oil that I have here is cold pressed and is 100% organic, okay? However, it don't really have to be organic, to be honest, you know? You know what I mean? When we, we use the word organic, it's all about the way that the the whatever it is like this the pomegranate tree is all about how it was uh, i was going to say brought into this world how it is um you know the planting procedure meaning that there is no form of a fertilizer no form of a growth um um hormones or anything like that growth hormones is only for animals guys not for plant but anyway and no form of a, you know what I'm talking about, fertilizer and chemicals and all of that for the for the tree to grow faster and the berries or the fruit to be bigger. So that's basically what organic is. I personally grew up just only only eating organic stuff and that's so like really fancy now however back then it was just you know regular callaloo they plant it in the backyard you go and you cut it regular banana you go down the bush you cut it and you eat it not knowing that it is organic and um do you ever hear the term about um free range chicken you know what that means free range chicken mean that when they're raising these chicken they have a big old farm and the chicken are not coop up in a coop they're able to just walk around wanders out in the yard you know to the fence line that is and that is what they call free range we grew up eating free range chicken chicken run down the bush lay egg under the cellar or something like that how more organic and and and, and um, free range can you get okay guys they don't do those things again i don't really think so but that's how i was raised so this now is organic pomegranate okay and this means that there's no fertilizer or any form of a chemical that was used in the process of growing these pomegranate that's all organic meat but guys let me tell you something every country have a different guideline when it comes on to organic you might come to america and you might buy a 100 pure organic oil and you might go to let's say france say or italy or you know another country let's say uk and you buy organic oil but each country what is terms of organic is different some people is a little more lenient some countries are more stricter and all of that so that is the honest truth why i don't really get on this organic bandwagon okay because let's say for some country i know we're talking about oil but sometimes it's good to talk about these things because a lot of people don't know some people go in the store to pick up organic and just think that it's probably a little better not really knowing why it is called organic okay now Let's say um, country number one. Country number one might be like, okay, you can use um, natural manure and it's still organic. And country number two might be like, no, no, use no, no form of a manure. You understand what I'm saying? So organic here and organic there might be a little different. However, the baseline is that most of them are mindful of the amount of a chemical that goes into the process of growing fruits and vegetables and you know 
like the free range chicken and all that kind of a thing so that's what organic is so no organic don't sweat it okay don't sweat it because sometimes you don't even know what is in the the, the soil okay and that is the honest truth okay i could go and i could get a little piece of a land i can get a little piece of a land somewhere and i'm gonna be like okay i'm gonna plant i like to talk about kalaloo because i'm supposed to be eating a lot of kalaloo i'm gonna be planting some kalaloo and you know i get the you know machine or the men to till the soil and i put my kalaloo down i don't put no form of a fertilizer i make sure that i water it and everything like that when you look the kalaloo then just grow big and bright and fluffy looking and i'm like yeah organic but did i test the soil did i test the soil to make sure that that soil didn't have any form of a pollution or you know stuff like that before okay so that is what i'm just saying you know if it's not organic use it and feel good about it okay all right so we are going to talk about i'm really talking today but yes uh, sometimes i you need to really know these things pomegranate seed now you can pronounce it however you want to pronounce it the honest truth is when i really where I am from, we just say pomegranate, okay? However, when you look at it, it's really pomegranate, okay? Pomegranate, that's how it's pronounced. But cold press, this is cold press. If you're not familiar with what cold press is, cold press simply means that there was no heat source, okay? No heat source to extract the oil, okay? First press is the first oil that they extract when they are, you know, getting oil from seeds or wherever they are getting it from the first oil that's first press cold press is no eat okay all right guys so let's talk about the pomegranate pomegranate is a collagen boots in oil it's pretty new to a lot of people it's kind of pretty new to me too however pomegranate itself is not new to me the oil that is is new to me now this has been happening for a long time, but because we did not have the technology where we could see and learn from others, then we weren't aware that we have all these fancy oil. Not only that, because of technology, the extracting process of oils now become second nature, and that makes us able to get a lot of oils like the pomegranate. How does the pomegranate help to boost collagen? It do contain a bit of a vitamin a, however, it do contain more vitamin C and vitamin E than vitamin A. Vitamin C have to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation, but the combination of vitamins that you find in the pomegranate seed oil will help to boost the collagen production once you apply it on a regular. Now, for the pomegranate seed, all you need is one two three drops if you have a big face <laughs> you know guys my face really got really big i have a like a little narrow teeny teeny face um a couple of years ago like four years ago but now my face is so big when i look at my head my head is so big because i gained so much weight but anyway guys if you have a big head like mine now you need about three to four drops if you have a teeny tiny head two drops will do and what you're gonna do with the pomegranate seed oil you are gonna actually warm it you go you know your body temperature guys you can warm anything in your hands okay so you warm the pomegranate seed in your hands and yes I'm gonna apply it to my face right now I am do wearing a little bit of a makeup in the right places and I'm wearing a, a water-based makeup right now so I could put any amount of oil on my skin I just you know put the makeup on for it to look like i have a ton of makeup on but really not guys honestly it's just the eyes that i load with some you know eyeshadow to give it that appearance so you pat on this oil on your skin and gosh you know i like to work the cheekbones and when you pat it on the skin clean skin that is then you massage the pomegranate oil on your skin lifting 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 and this is safe to use am and pm the trick to this guys if you want to really really get the best result from the pomegranate seed oil i suggest that you apply it at night it can um be applied to your skin directly or you can mix it with another oil that contain a high amount of vitamin a and we're going to talk about that 
in a couple uh, minutes now if you have tried the pomegranate seed oil go ahead and comment and anything you want to talk about the pomegranate seed oil right now I'm gonna take some comments and then we're gonna move on we're talking about collagen today guys and I didn't go through the whole rundown of what this yes I did talk a little about what this collagen is how the skin loses elasticity when you get older it stop producing as much as it should and then because of that you get the wrinkles and find lines that you need things to tighten it up back so you search for collagen boots in um, products or collagen boots in oils these oils that I'm sharing with you today are five oils that contains collagen boots in benefits okay all right so Lucy YouTube is still blocking my links on iPhone and I think that is something to do with logging out and logging in okay logging out and logging in you got to connect both together like connect whatever it is you were using connect go in register put in the thing and all that anyway I'm gonna try to call it Lucy I will go through it together to make you see what's going on because you are actually connected to my account maybe this is what is going on you're connected to my account and there's like boots and ice of security getting in so if you're on your whatever it is that you normally use to talk to me on and you switch to another thing I might have to go in approve it they might have to make sure that it's you and that is why you're having all these issues and even with me like the other day when I was trying to screen stream from my laptop if you notice what was happening I couldn't get in because they're not accustomed to me streaming from anything else than the, the the desktop so that is why I couldn't get on any at all so I will have to go in register link everything to let them know that yes this is me trying to get in so that's might be why you are getting blocked and that's only good for for Lucy because Lucy is connected to the channel okay so um Okay, so you never change anything. Okay, but okay, Lucy, we'll look into that. Golden Child, my Christmas list has all kind of oils and facial tools. Thanks to this channel. Oh my goodness. Thank you, time. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Don't overdo. Kaylin um, Peterson, um, Cape Town, South Africa. Some, oh guys, I so want to go to Cape Town. Like, I, so anyway. We'll talk about that another time. Anthony, our gore lord. Thank you, Lucy. And we also have um, Doris Annie, if that's how it's pronounced. We have to be careful about the word organic. If I am not mistaken, a company that sells less than 5,000 items can be listed under the organic umbrella. So anyway, you know, we, we, we really need to talk about a lot of things. So yes, yeah, so... Um, We'll get into that another time, but I know where you're going with this, and I really would want to take up, but then it's going to take up all the show, and they just might block us today because, you know, we have to keep certain things that we know on the quiet. Anyway, we are taking, Fennig Geek is wonderful for skin here. Um, yes, Fennig Geek is wonderful for hair and skin. Um, very, very good, too. And um, welcome, Rita and j and you're talking about oh that's okay rita and j are you new maybe i miss your um i miss your um what did you say earlier anyway i'll scroll back and see if i could see your comment and maybe you're joining for the first time if that is the case welcome to the chat now guys we are going to move on no one is asking about any um, oil no one is talking about the pomegranate so I guess I'll move on to the next oil um, Inga K happy Sunday Moonstar what oil brand do you use and that is what we're not gonna talk about under the um, video I normally list links let me be clear with you and really be honest with you when it comes out to brands and in terms of oils and stuff like that I am all over the place if I stumble let's say for instance rose oil I'm not gonna really show the brand right now because this is not sponsored so we cannot you know do that rose oil rose oil I use this rose oil a lot I just discover this rose oil okay they're both rose oil two different companies I like to try different different companies to see you know if there's any difference in the rose oil so if if it's available and it said rose oil and 100% or cold press or first press 
you know, I just, you know, buy it. It doesn't really matter the brand for me. Okay. All right. So, and I think that's what you should uh, follow because sometimes you find that um, bigger brands um, do sell certain things and because they're more known and all of that, you might go and see a review and let's say they're going to sell like 5,000 and you might find a brand that sell a hundred and you might be like, this brand is no good because they only sell a hundred. No, it's all because the bigger brand is more established and might get more promotion and stuff like that. So sometimes I like to just go in for the little small companies that, you know, really, really work hard and produce these amazing oils and stuff. And those are some of the oils that I personally will gravitate towards more, the smaller companies, okay? Something is on my lip today. I have no idea what it is. Anyway, guys, so we... Um, Rita Gadi, I'm a new subscriber and I tried the facial scrub. It is great. I saw an immediate change in my skin look. And so welcome, welcome. Thank you for that comment. We have mini one one G coup. Actually, please talk about a sea buckhorn oil and how to use it. You know, a lot of people who keep asking me to really talk about it. So what I'm going to do, and hopefully I'll get one because I don't have one at home. I know a lot about it, but I don't have one. So what I'm going to do for you, I am going to get one. I'm using it for a week, and then I'm going to come back and really talk about it with you guys, okay? So just to be clear on that. Hello, Taranji. How are you doing? Love my oils. All right, guys. So let's move on to another oil. Now, guys, I introduced this oil on my channel um, a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, and um, it's a cacao oil. Now, cacao oil is one oil that is loaded with collagen boosting properties. Loaded with collagen boosting properties. Very, very high in vitamin A. Now, when I introduced the oil on my channel, it was a, um, a promotion kind of a thing, and you know, we have some run-ins and stuff like that. However, this oil I so, so, so love. I don't talk, well, I talk about it a lot, but I don't use it in my facial products because depending on where you are, it might be a little pricey. And someone asked about brand just earlier, and I was saying, I don't follow brand. The cacao oil that I use personally, this one that I have in my hand, it is like $36. It's like $36. It's very, very pricey. However, I did get a few free bottles, okay? I did get a few free bottles. When mine ran out, I had to go in search of finding, you know, more for myself. But I discovered that you have a wide variety of other brands that are authentic that also make the cacao oil. And that is the reason why I said I don't go for brand because if I can get a first press or a cold press for $15, I'm gonna buy it over the $36 because I'm trying to watch my box, okay? So brand is not an issue. What is the most important is what is the content, okay? It's the content. All right, so this oil, cacao oil, contain high amount of vitamin A, it also do a little C and a little E, but more so vitamin A. It have more vitamin A than rosehip oil. And if you know anything about rosehip oil, you know that rosehip oil do have a bit of a high amount of vitamin A. Now, the cacao oil is really an amazing oil for aging skin. It helps to boost collagen. It helps to smooth wrinkles and fine lines. It's good for neck wrinkles. It's good to use under your eyes. It can use on your hands for aging hands. It's really good and it's very precious. And a little goes a long way, okay? A little goes a long way. And I'm just going to dab it right here for you guys to see. For this oil, you need no more than two drops, three drops if your face is looking, you know, a little big. And look at that, guys. It is a very very light oil but this particular brand is also a little thicker than another one that i um discovered but they get the job done the same way and the cacao oil you can mix it with other oils or you can use it directly on the skin use it above the facial toner and massage it on the skin just massage the oil whatever oil any of these oils that contains 
collagen boosting properties when you apply them to your skin massage it on the skin I'm gonna give you a little tip for those of you guys who are doing the challenge after the challenge is over I will I'm gonna share a recipe with you guys that you can mix if you have those oils at least two special oils and you're gonna mix the two special oils together and you're gonna apply a generous amount on your skin um, one night it's an oil mask if you know a lot of oh, oil mice yes it's an oil mice because you're gonna really oil your skin don't waste the oil but you're gonna put enough on your skin now there's this word and I, I was talking about it earlier um, in a video I post it's called slugging and what this slugging is is that they're loading their skin up with petroleum jelly at night okay I, I think I'm gonna make a video for you guys to show you they're putting a lot of petroleum jelly it's a new thing okay putting a lot of petroleum jelly on their skin at night and when they wake up in the morning their skin is looking really really fresh and it's a big thing out there now like you know some people are like why you should be slugging the honest truth is what is really happening is is that the petroleum jelly is a humectant that lock moisture in the skin so when you apply it up but it's breathable okay it locked the moisture in the skin but it's at the same time your skin is able to breathe so when you load up your skin with that petroleum jelly at night when you sleep when you wake up in the morning and you rinse it off because you didn't lose all of that moisture um, during the night your skin looks fresh and hydrated so it's a new thing so what I am recommending for you to do hello Pauline how are you I just noticed you are here is to load up two oils instead of using the petroleum jelly or if you really want to slug with the petroleum jelly put your anti-aging oils in the petroleum jelly and sluggish on your skin now some of you might not know but you can do your research it's out there it's everywhere now slugging slugging the same petroleum jelly that a lot of people was putting down but yes so load it up on your face just on top of your to your facial toner no moisturizer on top and go to sleep with it and wake up when you wake up you rinse off with some warm water and watch your skin transform all right so that's what um you know like the cacay and these two you could mix but i'll explain further at the end of the video yes you can mix all together and i do a lot of oil mixing most of like now that is this winter time i use a lot of oils and they're all mixed so all my amazing array of oils that I have here they're in one little jar or mix up so it's like I'm reaping the best of everything but yes you can mix your oils together mix two anti-aging oil because the cacay oil you know depending on you know where you get it and the price of it is a little over the top you can use mix the cacay oil with the rose hip oil can you imagine that I and vitamin A, I and vitamin A, C and E, the combination of this on your skin at night, amazing, amazing, amazing. So yes, guys, use the cacao oil to boost collagen. It's a very effective collagen boosting oil. Cacao oil, and it is spelled C A C A Y. Okay, as I said earlier, um, when I was introduced to the cacao oil, I was, you know doing some promotion business but now it's really a good oil okay so I still have to talk about it because I still use it and I still love it love it love it now we're gonna talk about another oil that you're gonna find out there a lot on the market some of you might be aware of it is the marula oil the marula oil is a very sought after facial oil right now okay and a lot of companies you have some big companies out there that are selling the pure marula oil and it is for a reason it do contains collagen boots and properties but it is also good for dry skin and it is also good for wrinkles and fine lines on the skin now when it comes on to the marula oil like this one that I'm using it said USDA and I don't even want to go into explaining each country have a code that they use to say it's approved by that country for America is USDA and this one is also stating that it is organic now you can get whatever brand um, marula oil out there the most important thing is the better one to look for is cold press cold press meaning no heat source is added to the oil now if you're like an oldies you know that I said exempt for some oils like 
the castor oil that it did do need the um the, the eating source to release the salicylic acid unlike other oils that you know need to be cold pressed to maintain all the vital vitamins in the oil so the marula oil is another oil and let me smell this marula oil uh basically nothing it's like mm, oil anyway so look how light this marula oil is guys almost like it's white like you know basically you're not seeing the rosy oil is the oil that have the prettiest color and the pomegranate but this oil marula oil look at that it's like nothing there love this oil an amazing anti-aging oil now guys as i said with the other oils you can use this directly on the skin or you can mix it however all the oils i mentioned you got to use them on the regular but you do not need all the five oils that I'm sharing today. You do not need all five. All you need is just one. But I'm just giving you a variety. That means you might have one from the five. Okay? So don't stress if you don't have all. I have all these oils because I do this show. And I have to have products to show you guys the difference. And that's why I have all these oils. So don't go and buy five, ten different oils. However, if you can afford it, buy it. Okay? Anyway, so... um. Lucy was uh, um, S L U G G um, slugging. Yes, um, asking about slugging. Yes, they are actually slugging with petroleum jelly on the skin. So that it is for is it for the marula oil boots collagen. Apply it in circular motion and massage it on your face, your neck, and your décolleté. Another trick to the all the oils that I'm talking about here today. Another trick is you can actually have your own homemade or store-bought facial moisturizer, mostly store-bought, and you could add at least a drop or two to their moisturizer. So when you do, if it's coming a pump and you pump the amount you're going to use on your face, take one drop. And this is a really, really good way to use up your facial oils, guys. When you're applying your moisturizer, your favorite facial oil, take it one drop or two drops to your moisturizer and apply it to your face. That is how I personally like to use the oil, mix oil with moisturizer instead of applying the oil on top of the moisturizer. You can go and get a cheap little moisturizer and you could add any of these oil, kick it up a notch. Yes, someone was saying recently, um, why is it that you know I need to go buy a facial oil? I should just go and buy a moisturizer and use on my skin. The honest truth is, yes, you gotta buy oils and stuff like that to use on the skin. But take for instance this bottle of marula oil. You can get this one bottle of marula oil could actually last you an entire year because all you need is one to two drops of the oil. So it's cost worthy okay because you are gonna stretch the dollar buying a bottle of oil get into the source you buy a bottle of um moisturizer it's gonna do contain oil it might contain two or three of these oils however if you get the three oils and you mix it yourself you're still spending money yes you're spending money but this is gonna last you forever. Not, you know what I mean. I'm exaggerating, saying forever, but it's gonna last you if you waste things a good six months or more. When that little cream, one ounce, or what is considered large in skincare world, 1.7 ounce is considered large. Okay, so that is not gonna stretch far okay it's not gonna go six months unless you really don't use it or you barely pinch it all right but if you get these oils you can really see your um where your money is going so that is why we do that and also the strength is more in terms of percentage wise when you're making a facial moisturizer guys everything is go gone by percentage so you might have the the the, the base oil which might be 25% well most cases the base oil might be 50% and then you're gonna add 5% cacao oil 10% squalene oil you're gonna have 
10% water and then you're gonna have 2% of whatever L ascorbic acid and all of that thing and everything have to add up to 100% okay now when you buy your own oil you're not counting percentage or anything like that what you're taking and adding to your thing might be way over the percentage amount it might be 20% of the oil you're adding but it is more stronger so that's where I'm going with this it is very much more stronger so don't have um, any issue getting a little bottle of a very special oil for yourself and these that I'm bringing to you guys are very special oil really special oil and if you was to buy a cream or a serum or something like that that contain any of these oils you might have to spend an extra penny because they're well sought after really really good oil for the skin let's say take some question and we're gonna move on if you're just joining we just spoke about pomegranate oil we talk about cacao oil we also talk about marula oil and we are gonna move on let's take some question and then I'm gonna bring another oil that I find to be really really good really really good on the skin carry Chichi, do you know about the castor oil with peppermint oil they both are in one I came across it yesterday it has a dark color they said it is good for hair and nails now someone asked that question in the the, the evening um, 25 days skincare challenge that we have going for those of you who are here right now watching we do have a skincare challenge going 25 days to beautiful skin it's on 7 30 every night until Christmas 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time we are already complete 19 days everyone is loving it it's really it's really really something we are really having fun so if you have not watched that join us tonight at 7 30 for the 25 days skincare challenge a lot of people are on and a lot of people are loving it so just in case you're not aware of that now someone asked that question now the way this works is we just spoke about mixing oils okay mixing oils so when you find a castor oil that contains or castor oil with peppermint it means that the person that is manufacturing our the oil get a jug I'm just keeping it real a jug of castor oil like say one gallon of castor oil and they might get a pint some of you might not know what a pint is of peppermint oil they put it pour it in the castor oil and they turn it and they turn it and they turn it and they bottle it and that is all you get peppermint castor oil okay so any oil that you're gonna get that's gonna mention something else like peppermint castor oil basil castor oil coconut castor oil if you get the drip of what I'm saying squalene castor oil it means they're blending the two oils together okay so and um, just a fancy way and sometimes that is also a way of um, boots in sales to you know say okay with like me on my on my um, my store I could come up with you guys and all these oil blends that I'm giving you right now I can actually bottle them as a blend they're pure oil but let's say I just spoke about the castor oil and the pomegranate I can come up with pomegranate castor oil or castor oil pomegranate and it sounds nice and the honest truth the two combination is amazing for the skin okay just imagine castor oil and pomegranate and those of people you would like stretch marks and all of that it's an amazing combination so I can go ahead and I can you know manufacture it as castor oil and pomegranate for stretch mark and it's really gonna work and it's gonna sell because just by mentioning the pomegranate with the castor oil take it to the next level all right so I hope I'm not talking too much manufacturers I am all for manufacturing products and twisting and turning I'm all for it and that's what I'm talking about it I'm fascinated by it okay all right so um, um short lady C how are you and we have um Ruby I Lucy no call for any PC. okay so that's it that um Jackie mom welcome Paula I think I first time I'm seeing Paula da um Donagu, I think I messed it up. Um, Danagu, let me, I think that's it. Danagu, tell me if I'm pronouncing your name right. Any idea how to put colorful pigment back into pale skin from, uh, from uh, a skin graft? 
All right, so um, I probably shouldn't read the end part of that. Any idea how to put back um, pigment? Now, well, you all know pigment is all about melanin, okay? And I could suggest something. However, um, oh, I got to be careful what I'm saying here because, you know, when you mention, like, skin graft and all of that, that is medical situation. So we got to be, be, be careful. But, you know, if you – if uh, okay, so send me an email because I'm, I'm really on the fence line. If I'm not sure that I could say something, I don't want to say it. So send me an email and let's see if we could talk a little bit about um, pigmentation and sunshine and um, and um, vitamin D and all these kind of things. Okay. All right. So um, let's move on. Um, yeah. That's, okay. All right. So um we are moving on. All right, guys. So let's talk about another oil, and this is a sesame seed oil. The good old sesame seed oil. When I first discovered sesame seed oil, I was very skeptical. Hello, Auntie Alice Day. How are you? I was very skeptical, to be honest, until I actually started using it. And now it is a stable in my oil collection. As a matter of fact, let me see if you guys could see how far this bottle is. And this is a good size for an oil bottle. Mine is right here, sesame seed oil. High in collagen boots and properties. Really amazing for your skin, your face, your neck, and your decollete. It is also another oil that you're gonna now find in a lot of your skincare moisturizer because it really works on the skin. It is very, very, very light. And some of you who might be new to my channel might be like, oh my goodness, why are you trying to let us smell like stir fry? Now there's a trick to the sesame seed oil. They are sesame seed oil, which is roasted, and there's sesame seed oil that is on roasted. Now, roasted sesame seed oil is what is going to give you this nice stir fry fragrance. That is not for the skin. That is just to cook. However, if you use it on your skin, what is going to happen? Absolutely nothing. It's going to hydrate and, you know, do your skin nice. However, you're going to smell like stir fry. But it also loses some of the properties when they actually extract the oil. But if you go for the on roasted um, cold press sesame seed oil which is basically fragrance free this is the one you want for your skin on roasted this one does not have a dropper it's really like a big old mouth right here and I don't want to contaminate my eyes by going from dropper to dropper I don't do that so I'm just gonna put a little of the sesame seed oil right here. So when you're trying to get the sesame seed oil for your skin, look at that. And you could tell this is the unroasted. The roasted sesame seed oil is more orange looking. And it's have a very, very strong pungent scent. This is just, like just nothing. <laughs> like, that's what I call oils when it have no fragrance to it. It's like nothing. Get it, use it in your add it to your oil collection, but more so use it on your skin. And also for those of you with a lot of pigmentation, some people with those molds and warts and stuff like that, this is a good oil. You can actually mix the sesame seed oil with this oil that they call lean oil and use it to get rid of the molds on the skin and also your warts and um, known as skin tags. So guys, Collagen boots and properties you're going to find in the sesame seed oil. Now, look at how this oil is, guys, and I'm just going to find it out. Look at that. Do you realize that the sesame seed oil is even lighter than the marula and the cacao oil? It just disappeared in my skin like that. And this is what makes the sesame seed oil really, really good for oily skin. Amazing for oily skin because it just disappeared in the skin like that. And no, my hand wasn't dry. You see how much oils I'm adding to my hand already. So another amazing oil that do contain collagen boots and properties. And I use this on my channel because I really want you guys to be exposed to the sesame seed oil. But be mindful. Don't run in the kitchen now to pull your sesame seed oil out. The one in the little bottle like that. That smell like no. You want the unroasted sesame seed oil for your skin, okay? The unroasted sesame seed oil. Let me take some questions 
and then we're gonna move on all right so um paula i got oily skin i will be getting that a thank you we have links in the description box um below i've got to check to make sure all these are linked down below hello rita how are you we only have 64 tops up oh guys if you're watching i know we're talking about oils and you're really into it today however just take a few, few seconds to give the video a thumbs up look below the video you're going to see one up like this one up like that the honest truth is always click on the one that is up okay the only time you click on the one that is down if i'm saying something and you're really really not agreeing with me and like no, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. so you do that one but most time if you want to support the channel then you click on the one that is up let's get this to a hundred thumbs up right now in case you forget to thumbs the video up, guys click on the link below the thumbs up video is right below the video and it's in I think it's gray or black or white on your end but it's somewhere below the video you're watching one thumbs up, one thumbs down, click on the one that is up. Get this to 100 thumbs up right now because you're watching and you didn't thumbs up. If you want to support the channel, you're learning a lot and you know you want to give back to the channel, to the channel, the way you give back is to thumbs up the video and also to comment. Another way you give back to the channel is to watch the videos and watch the commercial. That's how you support the channel that you like. Any channel that you like, you thumbs the video up you watch the videos and don't cut off halfway. You watch it to the end and you watch the commercial, okay? So share your love. Thumbs up the video to show some support. Hello, Jean Rose, how are you? Mini, please talk about um, Tamoa oil too. Woo! We were talking about Tamoa 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 oil a while back, okay? I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it back. I promise you, I am going to bring it back cuz I recently started using it and I am loving it. And you're going to be like, "How can you use so much oil?" Oh yes, I use all my oils, and as you can tell, I mix my oils, all right? So anyway it's a big thing out there with the tamua oil so we're gonna bring it to the channel but i want to introduce it to the channel okay so very soon we are gonna bring it we spoke about it a couple of months ago and in another oil show that we were doing but now i'm gonna officially introduce it to you guys not today but on another because i want to have the bottle to show and really go into details about all the vitamins and all of that and how amazing it is for aging skin some of you guys already know because we discussed it on the channel before but yes we will we will we will Paul, any oil for for them are a little spider broken yes um you can use the um, the neem oil with the sesame seed oil the same thing for the spots and blemishes it could go for the um, for the spider vein but what i would add to that is a little bit of a fix a vapor up okay i do have um several videos showing you how you can get rid of varicose and spider veins and um, two different things however the same remedy works okay so you can check those out all right so annie did you what about grapeseed oil now grapeseed oil is very high in vitamin e it does not contain not even half of the, it's just a little trace of vitamin A. All these oils that I'm bringing you today are very, very high in vitamin A, and they do contain a bit of a vitamin C. We are using mostly vitamin A because we're trying to boost collagen, so these oils provide like the best collagen properties for tightening, firming, and having your skin appear much younger than your age. But the grapeseed oil is amazing, and it is a very, very good carrier oil for all these oils that we're sharing. Meaning that if you get yourself a little bottle of, let's say, cacay oil, where's my cacay oil? You can actually take, let's say, a tablespoon of the grapeseed oil. You can put a teaspoon of the cacay oil, blend it up. Yes, you're stretching it out, but it's just as good as, you know, if you use it directly on the skin. So good, good carrier oil, and it's very good for um, oily skin because it just seep right into that skin and not leave a greasy feel. All right, so we have one more oil to talk about and which oil I didn't mention. So we talk about the cacao oil, we talk about um, pomegranate oil, we talk about um, sesame seed oil. I spoke about marula oil. I think I briefly talk about um, rosehip oil when I was explaining the cacao oil and that, if you have to get one, get the rosehip. 
okay? However, the cacao oil is top of the line when it comes on to the vitamin A. And also the marula oil is good, but the rose oil have all the essential vitamins, okay? They do have vitamin A, vitamin, and it's high in vitamin A also. Cacao have at least double the amount of vitamin A, but this have vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, and this make this a complete oil. So if you have to get just one, get the rose because you can use it, you know, for, you know, overall with getting the additional vitamins, okay? But if you can afford to get more, then you get like the cacao oil, which is really, really high in vitamin A. And the rest of them is just as good, but I'm giving you, you know, just showing you how you could mix and match so you don't go over budget. Now we also have the over oil, and the over oil is another oil. The honest truth is the over oil is very good. It does not contain the high amount of vitamin A and um, as the cacao and the rose and all the sesame seeds and stuff like that, but it's another very good oil that do contains collagen boots and properties. Now, let's put this aside. That's just a bonus that I just mentioned because I don't want to leave without talking about the good old papaya seed oil. And every time I come on here and I talk about the papaya, I gotta get the new one. Mine is almost done. Woo! Look at that. It's almost done. Mm. Anyway, every time I came on, um, I'm always talking about, you know, um, Richard told me about papaya seed oil. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> like, it's one of, in my top five oils, honestly, guy, my top five facial oil, this is right in there, the papaya seed oil. Really, really, really a good oil. And the honest truth is this company actually reached out to me because they have a wide variety of oil, and I kind of just... um you know really didn't you know pay it any mind and all of that but they really wanted me to do some stuff with their oils they have a lot of really good oils but i, I think i'll think about it for next year because <laughs> honestly i love the papaya seed oil so much anyway guys so rich in vitamin a what i so like about this oil is like it's a no joke oil when it comes on to boots and collagen but when it comes on to wrinkle on your face, for those of you with a lot of wrinkles, to be honest, it do have a little less vitamin A than the cacao oil, but to me, it performs even better for wrinkles than the cacao oil. Wrinkles on the forehead, mouth wrinkles, like some of you guys are supposed to be massaging, um, deep parentheses, the papaya seed oil, neck, decollete, the papaya seed oil. For those of you with crepey neck, that's what they call it, Crepey neck, like down here, crepey, crepey, crepey. Um, the papaya seed. And yes, they do have, that's the term they use for the neck when it don't look right, right? Crepey neck. So you're going to use this papaya seed oil. Amazing. Now, this is a really small amount. This is just one um, fluid ounce, just one ounce. But this one ounce, guys, can last you for six months because all you need, and this one have a pump, so I have to be careful when I'm pumping it. That's two drops of the papaya seed oil. And look at that just running down. I don't want to waste it, okay? I re Let me just put it on my face. Like, I love this oil so much. Rich in vitamin A. It do have a bit of a vitamin C. And it also have vitamin E. So it's also a good, complete oil like the rosehip oil. But I'm telling you, using this papaya seed oil for wrinkles, mmm. Good, 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 good. And we use we have a lot of videos on my channel using the papaya seed oil because when I find an oil that really works on my skin, I get a little excited about it. So it's like I just want to share it with you guys so I make videos. So you will find all, well, almost all my oil blend that are geared towards anti-aging purposes do contain papaya seed oil. A good mix with the papaya seed oil to really kick it up a notch is to mix it with the carrot seed oil and use it for your anti-aging purposes. Neck, decollete, for those of you with sagging, not sagging and wrinkle and use it on your hands also. Or tip a little bit in your moisturizer. Really, really, really good for the 
collagen boosting properties. So let's do a quick rundown of the five. I know, guys, I mentioned about seven oils, but this is the papaya seed oil we just spoke about. Really good oil to get in your collection. We have the sesame seed oil. We also have the rose oil, and we talk about the marula oil, and we also talk about the cacao oil. I mentioned the pomegranate oil, and I also talk about the ova oil. How many oil? One, two oils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven amazing oils that can help to boost collagen. However, some are more, you know, stronger than some. Some have a higher amount percentage of vitamin A, and some are complete oils. So there you have it, guys. Um, collagen boots in oil for your skin and look how much oil I put on my skin and what do you notice guys if I spend the time to just blend these oils out a little on my skin for the all the oils I use my skin should be looking much more greasier than this but look at that look at that and if I just take a tissue this is how amazing these oils are take a tissue put it on my face I'm barely dab it one two three remove it and look at that see what i mean these are amazing oils certain other oils i couldn't do this i couldn't just do that and it just blend in my skin like that i select the best of the best the creme of the crop what does the normally say okay to bring to you and if you are skeptical guys about these oils what I normally ask you to do is just go and research the oil for yourself, okay? If you are skeptical, research the oils for yourself. Whatever it is that I came on and I talk about, like if I'm giving you advice and telling you, oh, use it, use it, da, 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 research it, okay? Research it. Because you know why you need to research it? When you research it, a lot of things that I didn't mention about the oil, you're also going to discover about that particular oil. So always do your own work. And then if I don't talk about something, you can also come back another week and say, guess what? Did you know that the oil you spoke about the other day can also do X, Y, or Z? And that way we are sharing things together um auntie uh, kb short and um andy is on the show she wants <laughs> auntie you are um a security here so you're saying that um oh so lucy's saying that too short lady is on the show short lady you oh someone told you yes you actually won um on our challenge okay so you know what to do you send your information your um your um government name your home address and your phone number chichibuti at gmail.com see what i like about my subscribers like i didn't even know this but they're coming from the the 25 days skin care challenge and somebody realized that you're here and they're pointing it out to you that yeah 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 last night you weren't on normally you're on the show and this is like happen all the time all the time like golden child golden child is always on the night show and the one night that i actually pull her name guess what missing in action same with you short lady anytime you guys you know name is pulled from the bag you're never ever on that night but i'm glad you're here and a lot of people recognize that you're here thank you auntie and um and lucy for pointing out um short lady c all right so brianna clark what when i mix oil can it stay together mix for a long period or do i just mix small amount each time all right let's let's be honest with this one it actually can okay if you keep it in a dark bottle now when it comes on to i'm going to use the word composition of each oil you know it might be a little different in terms of how it might mix with another oil but pure oils are really good to make it's okay to mix together and i use the word pure oil because not all oils that you're gonna buy out there are pure oil sometimes and I spoke about this before anyway I don't want to go all the way into that but whenever you're looking for oils that you're gonna to mix together 
make sure it is 100% of that particular oil and it's not mixed with something else, okay? Because when it comes on to standard, all right, this oil that I have in my hand is 100% pure grapeseed oil. And if I turn it around, where's my glasses? If I turn the back around, Yes, guys, it's that time. <laughs> yeah, it's that time in my life. Okay, so if I turn the back around, it said, ingredient, 100% pure, oh, yeah, rose hip oil, rose hip seed oil, rose hip seed oil, and they also give the organic name for rose hip oil, which is Rosa Car um, Carnina. Rosa Carnina, that's like the biological name. If you're going to go do science or whatever and you're going to look for rose hip oil, that's the name that you, you know, that is this. And it is Rosa Carnina, that is rose hip oil. And in bracket, they put rose hip seed oil, 100% pure. That is what you want to make sure that is in the bottle, okay? Because not all, even though some oils might be like, rose hip oil it could be mixed with rose hip oil if you have 70 percent some countries that is if you have 70 percent of rose hip oil and you pour 30 percent of let's say grapeseed oil in it and mix it up together you can actually sell it in certain countries as rose hip oil even though it's mixed and we talk about that and several other shows so when you're going to mix your oil once it's a hundred percent it can mix however as you mentioned Mix anything you're making, make it in small batches, okay? Anything you're making, make it in small batches. You really don't need a bigger bottle than this when you're mixing all your oils. And this is actually big. This is what, one ounce? Yeah, this is one ounce. You don't need to make more than one ounce. So that's, you can use it up in, say, between six weeks to two months, okay? All right, to be on the safe side. And when you're mixing your oils, guys, get a dark bottle. So if you have a bottle that you finish, wash it out sterilize it and use it you don't want a light bottle because you don't want the oil to be exposed to light and we could talk about you know all of that why you need to be in a dark bottle on another show all right let's take some questions and then we're gonna move on uh chichi i know you're giving us good information for i always go and do my own research and found out many of the things you're talking about on your show are in your video is there thank you so much for that. Lucia John, hello, I'm here writing the oils down. Thank you for the great information. You are so welcome. Golden Child, what would you say that cacao oil has more vitamin A oil than the bak bakula oil or the bachi oil? I know someone was going to come up and say that. And the fact that I talk so much about the, I just call it bachi oil, so much about the bachi oil, I don't want to talk about it today. And that's why I didn't bring it up because I know you guys might be like, oh my gosh, you just going about that oil, going about that oil, going about that oil. The honest truth is, it is really, really, when it comes on to boots in the collagen production, the packet, the cacao oil is no match for the bachi oil, okay? It is really, really no match for the bachi oil. And it is tested, proven, and all the scientists are on it. But because I spoke about it so many times, I didn't want to bring it on today. So if the two together, the two together, I'm telling you, they are something else. And I think I am going to actually mix the two together, but I'm going to give it a test run for about three months and see what happened because, yeah, I just didn't want to talk about it. But yes, and for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, it's the new found uh, Bakuchi or Bakuchia or Bachi, as I just shortened it and call it. It's an oil that is now like, you know, out there in the skincare world that they're now calling the new replacement of the new natural uh, form of a retinol and you're finding it in a lot of high-end products but you can actually go and get the batchy oil yourself you can mix it with you know your little regular oil like little grapeseed oil because it's really really thick let me see if i have it here and guys i didn't have um any form of a bottom that looked really nice today i'm actually wearing my house pants yes so don't um don't even look at Let's see if I have it down here. Oh, it's too far. It's too far. If it wasn't so far, I would get it for you guys because I have to stand up. And you can see my little stripy pants that I'm wearing down here. So anyway, guys, 
we'll talk about it another time because I talk about that oil a lot. It is really the new thing, okay? It's like the new thing. All right, we are moving on. Um, Chia, um, Chi Warrior, how do you spell it, please? And let's see who I want to give the correct um, spelling. So let me see um, um, the correct spelling for you to search for, like, really, really, because some people will just say Bachi Al, and some people will, um, which I sometimes avoid pronouncing. So, um, but she, let me see. Um, how, uh, so is um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Okay, you're gonna see Bachi B A B C H I. However, you're also gonna see the correct um, spelling, which is um, B A K U C H I. B A K U C H I. And you're gonna also see it on the Bakuchila. Bakuchila. Let me see if I can find the Bakuchila. But anyway, you're gonna see B A B C H I, and you're also which is the same oil, and you're also gonna see B A K U C H I. And let me see how my dear friend um spell it on this one because that's also another name for it, another spelling. Anyway, I can't find it. But once you find one, you find all, okay? All right, because, um, and I would have to go into why the different, different names um, that is here. But it is a plant, and it's a, some people consider it to be a herb, but it is well out there for anti-aging purposes. All right, so I think I made a video, did I guys? I think I make a video just talking about it, but we talk about it a lot on this channel, especially on the live channel. All right, so um, KK, I am on day five today. I am being honest. I'm 62, and I had to say I did not really know much about this. But I and Lucy really give me uh, big boots. I see some different, but skin still loose. All right, so you are five days on the skincare challenge, and you are seeing some difference. That is amazing. Guys, we're not taking over the Sunday chat with the skincare challenge, but we just have to talk a little bit about it because Sunday chat is basically over. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to massage the face and do your massages every day. We have a five minute facial massage, but I want you after the challenge to do a 10 minutes facial massage. Now, if you can get any of the anti-aging oil that I just spoke about, the cacao oil and the very new batchy oil that we're talking about. If you can get that or the cacao oil, the pomegranate seed oil, any of the oil, however, I would suggest if you could get your hands on the sesame seed oil and the cacao oil, these two oils and you mix them together and use them to massage your face when you are doing your facial massages, then give it a couple of weeks and then come back and let me know what is going on. The trick is you, your skin can get tighter, but you got to do the work. It's meaning that every day, do your facial. Every day, do your facial. And when I say to do your facial, I mean cleanse your skin and apply your facial um, creams and serums and stuff, meaning your toner and anyway, Send me an email. I'm going to make a little thing for you. Your toner, your, um, and don't expect it tomorrow, okay? <laughs> I need to say that because sometimes I take very, very, very long to reply to people because it's so much email, but I really do want to reply, to be honest, and that's why I'm always like, send the email. So some people get lucky and get back fast replies. Some people, you know, it take a little while. But anyway, make sure to continue with the, with the skincare challenge when the challenge is over you're gonna still be doing the skincare challenge and this is gonna become a habit for you to do it the only difference is you are not gonna be exfoliating two to three um, every other day you're only exfoliating two times or if you have the time three times a week but two times is good you are gonna do a facial mask two times every week you choose the two days you're gonna massage your face every day okay now the easiest way to massage your face every day is to massage your face when you're adding 
when you're using your cream or your serum okay so that is going to make it easy so whatever you apply to your face to leave on massage it on do that and we'll talk more about it don't give up you can see amazing results once you do it on a regular and i'm rooting for you and i'm going to look out for your email okay all right so and guess what <laughs> All this thing that I'm gonna be doing with you, I'm gonna ask you for a picture, okay? So we're gonna do a before and after picture because when your skin starting to look better, you might not see it, but we might be able to see it, okay? Like faster than you. So once we get your skin looking amazing, then we'll ask you for a picture. We might even post it on the thumbnail. So see how far I'm stretching it? It means that you can get result from taking care of your skin. We're gonna tighten up your skin for you. And while you're at it, make sure to drink as much water as you can because you need all of that hydration all right so we are ending tonight show and uh okay so lucy okay so yes that's the actually the biological name for it which is um soralia bio, bio, biological name if you have to really look it up in the book but it's also different countries actually pronounce it um, different, and that is all because we have the Baku, Baku, Bakuchila, we have the Bachi, and the Bakuchi. That is all of that. But anyway, we'll talk about that um, another time. Love in the chat, Chichi. We, um, you were born with it. Okay. And Fortune, thank you. You are awesome, and thank you for watching. Now, guys, our show today is finished. If you're just joining, we were talking about five oils that do contain collagen boots and property. We spoke about pomegranate, cacao, sesame seed, um, rose, um, marula, um, papaya seed, and we also mentioned um, oba oil. So those are some of, as a matter of fact, these are some of the best oil for collagen boots and purposes. Now, our show is over for today, but we have another show on tonight, guys. For those of you who don't know anything about the skincare challenge that we're having, we are having a 25-day skincare challenge. We have, we have a show, and today we're at day 20. Every night we're on at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, including tonight, and um, we're going all the way to Christmas Day. Now, yesterday, guys, for those of you on the chat that um, um, that are actually doing the challenge, when I came off, I noticed someone was like, for the 730th time, what about Christmas Eve and Christmas Day? So this person is reminding me that, are you sure people is going to be watching Christmas Eve and Christmas Day? Okay. Now, tonight when I get on the show, we're going to address that because I want some of you guys to tell me what to do. Do we do the show? Well, we have to do the skincare, okay? Or maybe I might need to make a recorded video and post it for, that's what came to my mind, post it for um, Christmas Eve. We probably could do our show, but for Christmas Day, um, People are going to be busy with their family, blah, 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 blah. And this happened last year where we didn't do our gift giving till the day after. So on the show tonight, we will dis dis decide what we're going to do. If we're going to have a Christmas day or the day after, or we're going to make a, a recorded video for Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day. We just barely come on for a couple of minutes and then we actually do the main show for you know boxing day if you celebrate if you have boxing day but we'll talk about it tonight on our nightly you know skincare challenge so so that's my time for sunday chit chat guys go cook whoever have to cook go eat a lucy go whip up your thing in your kitchen and come back for our 7 30 show that's my time guys i love you guys as a matter of fact let's see this is the no we have one more yeah, we have one more Sunday before the year is finished for the Sunday Chit Chat um, show because Sunday Chit Chat is running now for a little over three years. So we really want to celebrate, you know, the last day going out for maybe we have one of the longest running um, live show on YouTube. Anyway, guys, we'll talk about that soon. I love you guys and I'll see some of you later. And for those of you who do not do the 730 show, We'll see you in our next video. And go and watch the show, the videos I post this morning. I post a video for the 
I got the um the oil blend for the dark on the eye circles and the wrinkles around the eyes. You guys could go watch that. I think a lot of you didn't get the notification that that is posted, so you guys could go and watch it. Look if you're looking for a good blend of oil to use under your eyes. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you all for watching. On your way out, if you didn't thumbs the video up, just give the video a thumbs up. Show some love to our channel. Um, have a great evening, guys, and have a good week. Have a good week. Take care of yourself, guys. Please do. Please do. Spend a little extra time and take care of yourself. Bye bye. Seven thirty. Twenty-five day skincare challenge. Yes.